1440, Johann Gutenberg invented the first printing press. It became the very tool for the Reformation to spread the gospel and for King James to ask for an English version of the Bible that even today is still the best-selling book of all times. The season we live in now has a similar feel to it. And while the tools of online communication have been available for the church for over 10 years or more now, it is in this season that God has brought them to the fore as the means for the gospel to go forth. Before COVID-19, less than 10% of churches in the UK had any regular online services uploaded. I don't think we could envisage a future where that doesn't occur. Being a church with an online presence means taking advantage of these tools for the gospel to continue to go forward. Uh, so hi church. Um... As part of our New Year series, we wanted to talk to you this week about Church Online and what that looks like. I can't believe we're now in, what has it been? Um, I think it's like month six. Month six, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's crazy. I remember the first time we were here filming for the first online service um, on that little sofa and yeah. never did I think we'd still be here doing this. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a while, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the first week um, with Church Online, I think it was just all kind of make, like making it up as we go along. Um, didn't really know what we were doing, but yeah, it worked out well. And we're still here, um, which definitely didn't expect. So I guess this is before our online, uh, before lockdown. Can't quite remember the timing now, a long time ago. But um, when I was asked to discuss Hope Church going on online, as in completely online, um, had a chat and said, well, yes, we can do this. And then I think it was Tony said, but we need to do it for this coming Sunday. And it was like, not possible. But, you, know, it's, you clearly have no idea what's involved. <laughs> so we had less than a week's notice. I, I feel, as I recall, it was less than a week's notice to basically switch from live worship, live church to being a video online. And that's in fact why we went to video because we felt we could do something that was going to be proper, was going to be a blessing, uh, but it would have, could only be done by going video. And uh, thanks to a great team, people all pulling together in that space of less than a week, we got there and produced something. I think if we look back at it now, we can see it was quite rough and raw, but at the time, it was pretty good going. So we pretty quickly realised that no one person's going to turn out a Sunday service. Um, it has to be a team effort. We have both people contributing into the what's going to go on on Sunday service, so you have people doing the intro and the outro, you have people doing worship, and we often have segments in the middle. And those are people putting into the Sunday service, but then behind the scenes you have an awful lot of people working to turn what they've done into something that's going to be viewable and will also fit into the service as a whole. So we have not just the people contributing, who you'll see on a Sunday morning, but we have editors, mixers, audio specialists, and they're all people from our own church. They're people who have volunteered their services, come forward and have been willing to put time and effort into producing a Sunday morning service. In moving to being online in little or no planning, it's taken a lot of help. And we are so grateful for everybody who has been part of this journey. And we don't believe that journey is going to end now. We believe actually in this coming season, as we begin to meet physically, we will still be growing our online presence because this is the primary way people looking in on Hope Church, be they a Christian moving into the area or someone who's never had an, a considered faith, will be looking at us online first. And we are saying to you that we want you to be part of that. We want you to come volunteer in that. I want to thank Johan and Mike Robbins particularly for their service and help for us in this season. But as we believe this vision and part of our life as a church will grow, we know that we need to resource it. That means more volunteers. But it also means at the centre that we'll be having staff who are with us day by day helping make this happen. And we need to invest in that. 
both in terms of the contribution and financing of that, but also the skilling of people who've taken those responsibilities. We're investing a lot of time over the summer thinking of what resources we need, cameras and computers and these tools which are necessary for an online presence. The New Era offering is in part supporting this. Yeah, and we cannot wait to be back in person. I, I can yeah. say that for myself. I'm so looking forward to being back as a congregation, but uh, we know that might not be for a little bit longer. And I know some churches have come back, and, we, and I know uh, Tony's kind of talked a little bit about why we haven't, and going, we want to be authentic. We want to be able to sing and be church together, and we cannot wait for that. Mm. But I guess in the meantime, we still want to be church. We still want to be building community. And as a team, I think that's something that we're really passionate about. Um, even in this season as we continue it, is helping us to do this a bit more in the long term. Yeah, I think just being able to build this online fixture going forward, um, it's really exciting. Yeah, it's going to be really cool, I think, to explore some of the, the new things, and we're excited. Um, we've, we've bought some, some new kit and really excited about what's going to be coming in the future. Um, I know there's lots of ideas we have as a production team, and hopefully in the coming weeks and months we'll get to... Uh, show you a little bit more about what we're going to be up to. A couple of years ago, a survey was done of millennials who were Christians and found about half of them would use online media as a way of broadening and deepening their spiritual walk. A similar survey just taken up a few weeks ago find that over 90% of Christians of any generation now are turning to online media as a means of engaging their faith and growing. And churches are increasingly recognising that as we come out of the pandemic, that we will still be meeting in Zoom and meeting in means such as online services and training online. We will be investing in this at Hope Church because we know that people are looking in on us and first of all joining us in an online presence. In seeking to have a church, which is a community online, it means more than just publishing or live streaming a service on a Sunday and a couple of notices put up online midweek. To help us understand that, let me just give you a statistic. Only a couple of years ago, 85% of churches had websites and used Facebook. But when we look at what we use them for, we primarily use them as notice boards or equivalent of notice sheets. We would say, this is what we're doing, this is what's happening, come and be there. Interestingly though, less than 15% of churches were engaging in media such as Instagram or Twitter or anything which asked people to interact back with us. To be a church community online means to have a conversation in real time with people, asking them to come investigate the Christian faith, explore what it means to their life, but also be part of Hope Online when you can't physically meet with us, or when you're businessing and traveling, or when childcare commitments stop you coming to services or events. You can still be part of Hope's community, but in this time, online. Here are some ways on how to give. The best way for us is by direct bank transfer. Please reference the new era offering. Alternatively, you can make a pledge. Again, please reference the new era offering. If you have any questions about making a pledge or you need the church bank details, please email david.dell at hopechurchuk.org. For all the other ways that you can give, please visit our website www.hopechurchuk.org forward slash new era offering.